Good evening, New Smyrna Beach fans and friends. Well, we made it back to New Smyrna. There's the beach behind me. So I'm going to show you. This is the um, Flagler Beach parking area and the beach ramp. And so I'm going to show you what happened here while we were gone with Nicole which is only a month or so after Ian. So I'm gonna flip around so you can see what's going on, all right? All right, as you can see, it looks like there was a lot of debris washed up along here. This is the parking ramp, well, the beach ramp, so we can come up onto Flagler. And a lot of stuff washed up there. Breakers look like it survived again. Good old breakers. Survives anything. <laughs> and heading up the street here. Um, looks like there's going to be a good bit of cleanup still. Um, you can see one of the gates and all that debris that washed up. It's just insane. And here we go looking down Flagler Avenue. So, looks like stores are open, restaurants are open, which is amazing. I have to fix this, unfortunately. But, beach doesn't look too bad. So, uh, yeah, this is amazing. There were sea foam all the way up the road here. All sorts of crap. Let's just take a walk down here. And see what we can find. I uh, do know down at 27th Avenue there was a lot of damage buildings, houses, and that whole beach ramp and park area. It's like falling into the ocean. So on this end, I think that we got lucky. At least the businesses did. You can see with the seawall here, it's kind of a nice evening out, but uh, a lot of debris and trees. And Oh, look, the sandcastle made it. No, I think that was built today. But uh, I know the water was coming out over the seawall easily. So, yep, there's got some surfers out there. I mean, really, when you look around, you wouldn't necessarily know, apart from all the stuff that's on the railings, that much had happened. But this was pretty rough and like I said farther down it's bad and farther up north up uh, north in uh, Wilbur by the sea and Daytona Beach Shores they got nailed and a lot of places are deemed in uninhabitable they're not safe so uh, a lot of people lost their homes which is sad um, you know, we had a good bit of water at Quail Hollow, but luckily it did not get into anybody's homes this time. So we were very fortunate. We spent the week hiding away at Disney <laughs> using our vacation club points. Yep. But, you know, hey, it's, it's all good. So let's see here. There's the lifeguard tower which actually is showing a little bit more than what it used to since it, most of it washed away. Um, looks like the Beast Safety Office is still there. Unfortunately, the one in Daytona ended up in the ocean. That didn't work out so well. But you can see here even the dunes on the top have 
washed away and it's just interesting you get to see so much of what you never usually get to see because of the dunes which are gone so we are just walking down this way just a little bit and right now it must be low tide I didn't look at the tide charts today but you can see here that uh, there's no steps at all they are gone and uh, I don't know a lot of palm trees and it looks like Tony and Joe's is already starting to build their steps back up which is nice fence kind of blew in but they're still going it's amazing still a little mangrove there and looking down it's pretty beautiful Oop, sorry trying to change going there we go so uh, we're hoping uh, this won't be too bad but even the uh, intercoastal waterway it uh, flooded out one of my favorite restaurants which is the river deck and that's my mom's favorite too and they had about a foot of water over their decking which normally is about three feet below that so but uh you know, maybe tomorrow I can show you some of the harder hit areas, but right now, you know, this is what it is. And uh, we were fortunate in some ways, but not in others. So I feel bad for those people that lost their homes and lost other things. So, alrighty. Well, it's a, we'll say it's a beautiful evening out here. And uh, we all went, came through it. Um, you know, things can be rebuilt. Houses, condos, but people's lives cannot, so we'll just see. So I'm going to leave you with a few vision of that beautiful ocean going on there. It's a lot calmer than what it was. So it's a beautiful night just to be walking on the beach and enjoying. So there we go. A little bit of breakers there. I can't believe that thing has been through so much. And it comes out smiling. Yep, one of my favorite places to get burgers best burgers in the world they have the best Hawaiian burger barbecue sauce cheese pineapple mm -hmm. pretty yummy oh it feels good to be able to walk on the beach let me tell you so uh, I think they only lost a tiny bit of their deck and that's about it so alrighty tomorrow maybe I'll do some uh, stuff a little farther south um, But right now we're all doing pretty good. So thanks for watching and Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe and we will see you soon. All right. Love y'all. Bye